everyone, this is a series of ideas on how to create remote lectures via Zoom, a conference video software. The topic for today is how to motivate participations and how to manage responses from the students. First, I want to show you how to use the poll function to create questions and collect responses. For example, you can use this function to check in with students at the beginning of the class or you can ask the check-in questions after 10 to 15 minutes of lecturing. Second, I'll show you how to use the manage participants function to monitor participations and responses. For example, a student can type the questions or responses in the chat room. If they don't want to speak, well, students can use the raise hand functions to notify you that they want to speak if they have any questions. Now, let's go to the meeting. So I created this meeting for this video. And as you can see that I have one participant. The participant is named Reader. Usually, when I start a class, I always ask students if they have any um, questions or if they want to know if they how are they feeling so if I want to ask how are you doing I can use this polling functions here to create questions I add the add questions it will take me to the screen where I can create my own questions okay so the first polling is checking in questions how are you doing There are single choice and multiple choice, but for these questions, I think single choice is a good choice. So one of the responses could be great, good, or just okay. If I want to add another questions, I can add a questions. And the next question is, are there any questions for me? The answer should be yes, it can be no. Once I'm done with creating questions, save it. And I want to launch this poll, click on the launch poll. Once you launch the poll, students will see the same exactly the window where they have questions and responses. They can click on the responses, they submit those responses and will show it to you right away. For example, one student saying they're great they have, and they don't have any questions. All right, you can have this poll as long as you want. But if you want to end it, you just end a poll and it'll give you the results. If you can, you want to share the results to students, you can click share results. All the students will see this result and you can stop sharing. All right, back to our um, main screen. So during the lecture, at some points, if you want to pause and check in with your students, you can either create another poll questions asking if they have any questions or you can verbally ask the questions and student can use their chat functions to ask the questions for examples we ask are there we are just ask the questions and i have a cling here from Rita to everyone you can ask the questions Click on the chat functions, move it here, and see. Usually, I would let everyone know who's asking the questions and what the question is. For example, I would say, Rita asked the questions, are there any applications? Then I would start responding to that questions. Okay. If your questions is just a yes or no questions, then student can actually using their participant functions to click on the yes symbol and then on the screen you will know who's saying yes and how many students are saying yes or student can click, click on the no and you can say one student saying no and reader is saying no there are other functions student can click on the go faster symbols letting you know that you can go a little faster 
or they can click on the go slower symbol letting you know that you are going a bit too fast maybe you want to slow down a little bit and then during your lectures or while you talking if the students want to have any questions or want to make any comments and they do not want to interrupt you they can use the raise hand function symbol here just to notify you that they have a question or they want to make a comment while you're talking so usually if I can pause right away to address students' questions, I would. Or I can just finish what I'm talking about and then address the student questions. But using this raise hand functions here is very useful because students will let me know right away. And I, I would know right away if I look at this screen while I'm talking. All right. This video is again show you how to use a poll functions to create questions and collect responses. Also, we will show you how to use the manage participations uh, functions to monitor students participations and responses. Thank you for listening.